Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nice to meet you. Uh, praise the Lord. Today is your day and then miracle, signs, wonders. Um, the Bible, Isaiah chapter 61 says, The Lord, the Spirit of the Sovereign Lord is on me because the Lord has anointed me to preach the good news to the poor. He has sent me, bind the broken heart, and then proclaim freedom and then release for the prisoners. Uh, dear brother and sister, today is a uh, it's a dark season, so everyone had uh, supporting and then afflicted from the enemy Satan. So we must we know and then how do we relationship with the right relationship with the Holy Spirit? So we have to be hearing about the what God speak to you. So the sp spiritual said, and then if the Holy Spirit upon you, he will lead you. Hallelujah. So he is our uh, God and the spirit of the Jesus, spirit of the our Father. And then he is uh, within you. So and he will teach you and guidance you. He will um, and then, uh, answer to your prayer. So first of all, you have to be receive Holy Spirit power. So baptize of a power. And if you baptize of the Holy Spirit power, he will send you uh, and then, uh, on his ministry with you. So Bible says Isaiah chapter 45 or, Verse 2, 3, and th 3 says, I will go before you, level the mountain, break down gate of bronze, cut through bars of iron. You will give the treasures of darkness and riches store in the secret place, so that you may know that I am the Lord, the God of Israel, who summons you. Hallelujah. So first step, you must entrust the Holy Spirit, His guidance. And number two, obedience, to follow what God speaks to you. I want to share with you and then uh, testimony. Well, I've been ministry and then um, today is what, almost 30 years over. So... And I don't know which direction to go, but uh, I pray to God and ask my uh, destination. But one day, the Holy Spirit gave me word of God. That was Isaiah chapter 43 in verse 18 through 21. There we go. Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I'm doing new things now. It springs up. Do not perceive it. I'm making a way in the desert and the streams wasteland. The wild and, uh, animals honor me, the jackals and ours, because I provide water in the desert and the streams wasteland. So, and then when I um, receive the word of God from God, and then my uh, spirit is uh, shaking. Uh, so, so I cannot uh, explain the. What is so powerful. And then Holy Spirit kept with me. Then I prayed to God, ask the Holy Spirit, where is it? And then uh, you preparing uh, for the, your ministry with, with me. So God showed me and then go to the Argentina. So, well, I don't know anybody, but I follow to what Holy Spirit speak to me. See? And then if we, we anybody, you know, hearing about word of God, we are ready to evidence whatever uh, God speak to you. So I did it. That was 1988. When I get there, uh, Argentina, well, so confused. So many people have uh, supporting and, you know, captives from enemy. They don't know how to break through, and they don't know how. You know, many, many problems. So, 
And then I just uh, preach the gospel of uh, Jesus, and he gave us a free, hallelujah. And then his uh, signs won us miracles. Uh, even though, and one uh, little boy, he was uh, five years old, he had uh, a brain tumor. But um, doctor, you know, already gave it a report. Uh, um, he cannot leave. But Holy Spirit speak to me, pray, and then proclaim my words. So and then I uh, obey to him, and then I pray about his healing. But you know what? He was, uh, um, he cannot press because his all, you know, nose and then uh, tomb come, and then um, not like uh, our nose, you know, tomb um so well doctor had the surgery right here and then uh let him go just to, you know press but he cannot so they waiting and then uh his death but i uh preach the gospel about jesus and then i pray for him you know what wow god you know heal him totally hallelujah so he is, that is the Holy Spirit power. And then even the Holy Spirit speak to you. you. If you do not proclaim word of God, and then if you do not, you know, obey word of God, nothing happen. So I learning how to Holy Spirit use me, how to, you know, and then ministry uh, to uh, kingdom of God. So uh, by him, and then 38th, you know, families, everybody come to Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then, uh, praise God. And also, he got healing totally. Hallelujah. So that's why Holy Spirit, you know, guidance, guidance, what's the direction? And then if even though you uh, and then hearing what God speak to you, that is uh, very important. Hallelujah. Well, how can I say to you in then short time, even though, and then God, um, when I prayed over, over that uh, country, Argentina, and after two years, and then the Holy Spirit speak to me and go to Argentina, I mean, uh, Australia. So I, even though I don't know nobody, but uh, God opened the door. Because someone in church and they said, uh, you must be come to Australia and then have a ministry. So I was so scared. But, you know, when I prayed to God, wow, by his power, hallelujah, hallelujah. Then at the time, God said, I will go before you and then live at the mountain, break down the gate of bronze and cut through bars of irons. I will give the treasures. And even the darkness place, I will give you treasures. So, so many people, let them know God is with you. So, you know, when Holy Spirit guides your direction and then your destiny, and he always speaks to you word of God. Hallelujah. So, again, he speaks to me, Isaiah chapter 45, verse 2 and 3. That's why I depend on and his uh, um, promised word, and, and then I obeyed. So 1990, and then uh, God opened the door, and that uh, I, I I go to uh, uh, Australia. So when I get there, and then I don't know how to ministry, but God show me so many young people. They don't hear about God's but Jesus. So, and then I started the um, ministry for young people, youth group. And it was, uh, what, uh, five people, seven people, you know, we've been together. But we pray over it again, again, and then uh, and, and ask the Holy Spirit, God. And then God opened the door. Hallelujah. So, and then every day. More young people come to, you know, uh, church, come to uh, Jesus Christ. So, and then uh, rejoice to how Papa ministry, it was, uh, and then uh, 300 young people, you know, gathering, we been ministry together. Well, and then at the time, God showed us about, 
you know, world mission. So this is the last day. God said, uh, go to the, in the world, preach the gospel and all creation. Whoever believed and they got salvation and then who denied and then uh, punishment. So we be diligent, we must be diligently preach the gospel. Wow, at the time, you know, not your power, the Holy Spirit power. At the time, I don't know how to and break through, but Holy Spirit guides us. So, and then he lead us. So, reach over to 3,000 young people come back to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And, and then God, yeah, after um, six years later, in 1994, God showed me about America. And then God said, uh, uh, and then ready to go to America. Because uh, the Holy Spirit uh, showed me in America, it's going to be last mission field. So uh, at that time, I don't uh, understand because, you know, America is a... Uh, um, very uh, earlier, they received the gospel of Jesus and by the pilgrim. So I thought 100 people, 100% Christian country. It is. But, you know, uh, this country is a freedom and they welcomed every, um, you know, Im open the immigration. So uh, all nations and then come back to America, uh, they, uh, you know that. So, and then later I understand, but Holy Spirit speak to me and go to America. So, and then I say to uh, Lord, and then I'm ready, but um, I don't have any, you know, uh, sponsor and then, you know, uh, pizza, anything, but God preferring everything. God gave me green card, and then no problem to uh, come to America. Then, and then 1996, um, uh, uh, I was, uh, I, I know, I was came, I, I came to America 1996, but um, God, you know, training me, and then he said to me, and then go to Florida, and start to uh, opening church that is a uh, uh, brotherly love for gospel Philadelphia church. So, and then um, I just obey. But you know, uh, my English, not, you know, I was, this is a second language, but I don't know how to speak. But it is God, hallelujah. If you obey what Holy Spirit's, you know, guidance and follow to our God, and then he will give it to every, you know, his power, science, wonders, miracle. Now, and then um, we, our church is just uh, 18 years been in you know, ministry, but so many people save Jesus Christ. And then you don't know how, you know, Holy Spirit moved his power. So, so right now, Holy Spirit, you know, fire ministry. Hey, someone come to a church, you know, they met Jesus, repent their sin, and then they got healing. They got, um, you know, they learning how to pray to God. And then how can I um, uh, tell you? So today... Uh, I want you, uh, just a short time, um, this is the first time I broadcast with, uh, you know, TV, but I saw somebody don't know where to go. So I saw somebody, God said, forget the former things, do not dwell on the past. See, I'm the new thing, now it springs up, do not perceive it. I'm making a way in the desert and the streams of wasteland, the wild animals, the enemies, the jackals and ours, because I provide water in the desert and the streams of wasteland. See, desert and the wasteland, you know, no water, you know, no waste, and that means we are human beings, flesh, um, uh, eyes, we cannot see anything. But this kind of dark uh, uh, time, 
You don't know which direction to go, but the Holy Spirit, first of all, forget the former things. That means uh, forgive you, forgive you, and then uh, do not dwell on the past. See? God is good God. Pray to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, well since, you know, hurt, hurt my spirit. Somebody have a broken heart. God said, dear my children, I am with you. I never leave it to you. I never forsake you. As I was Moses and I with you, I never, never, never forsake you. I love you, my child. See, God is our God, is a mercy God. Just lay down, repent your sin, and then ask the Holy Spirit, show me a new vision. See, the sovereign Lord, God said, I will pour out my spirit all the children and young and then, um, young men may see vision and then your old men have a dream dream. God have, God is our God is a provider. He's provider for you. So ask God. He will show you. And also read the Bible. And then our faith is a, that is word of God. You have to foundation, stand up, foundation, stand up, word of God. And then, and then the, that word of God is, uh, and then God's inspiration, and then inspiration where pour out, you know, God's press and with you. Then you will be changing. And then you will be, and then you will know, and then this is God. So, and the Holy Spirit God, and then we'll pour out his power, and then your circumstance, your darkness will release, just like from the darkness, release from the prisoners. So now, and then look up, and then our God is a resurrection God. Jesus Christ is a resurrection from death. So he said, anything you ask my name, I will and an answer to you. So and then listen. And then right now, first step, forgiveness. And then your sin, forgiveness. And then their sin. Just, uh, and then open your heart. Open your heart to the Holy Spirit. Number two. And God is a healer. So it does matter your spirit um, digits or flesh, physical digits, your circumstance, all kind of digits, and God is a healer. So, and then right now I see someone, um, stomach, uh, very, you know, upset stomach, and then headache. And then I saw you, someone um, leg, right side leg, and you, you, uh, you was an extent, but God healing you. Because uh, Jesus said, uh, those signs will accompany who believe in my name. They will drive out demons, they will speak in new tongues, they will pick up snakes with their hand. When they drink deadly poison, it will not hurt them at all. They will place their hand on the sick people, they will get well. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! And also I saw, and then um, someone have a financial problem. See? God, Jesus teaching us, uh, if you want to live about um, your uh, prosperity and then plant a seed, hallelujah. Last Sunday, our church, and then, I don't know, Holy Spirit speak to me, and then someone have to seed and $500. That is the first time I uh, prophesied. Well, not me. Holy Spirit want me to speak out, proclaim. So I did, but among the one sister uh, said uh, uh, early morning. It was a Sunday early morning. 
so when she opened uh, <laughs> her eyes and then she started uh, tongue speaking come out. So and then Holy Spirit, what do you mean? What are you going to do? And then then and then after tongue speaking and the Holy Spirit said, you have to see the five hundred dollars. <laughs> Hallelujah. So and then he uh, she just uh, you know her name is Damaris, Sister Damaris. And then you write the check and then bring to come to uh, you know church. But um, when I uh, you know uh, ministry time, oh she got conform. Hallelujah. That's why she you know tearing. What a Holy Spirit God is a good God. This is obedience. So someone have a um, financial, you know, travel and, and plant a seed. You will be live and thirty percent, sixty percent, and hundred percent. Hallelujah! So and then right now, I want to pray for you. Your um, your uh, uh, your circumstances, your problem, whatever. And then let us pray to God. Jesus said, uh, and then bring to your burden to me. I will give you rest. And then pray my name. I will be with you. So let, let us pray. Oh, Heavenly Father, we thank you. Your blessing. You are always with us. Because you said yesterday, today, forever. Holy Spirit, God, you are our paracletos, you are uh, our guidance, teachers, and then you, your power is upon us, Lord. Father, we pray for our healing in the name of Jesus. Someone broken heart and then physical and disease and then also family disease. Someone cancer or all all darkness, you enemy Satan. The Bible said, uh, resist the devil, they will flee from you. Right now, come out, all kind of enemy Satan, come out in the name of Jesus. Right now, lay hand, because God said, lay hand on the sick place. And they will get well. Jesus, we lay hand on the sick place. Touch us, Lord. Heal us, Lord. Hallelujah. Isaiah chapter 53, verse 5 says, The body was pierced for our transgression. He was crucified for iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him. By his wounds, we are here. Oh, thank you, Jesus. You paid, already paid our digits, our sickness, all kind of uh, our darkness, Lord. Hallelujah. Right now, touch us, Lord. Heal us in the name of Jesus. You cancer, come out. I command you in the name of Jesus. Go, Jesus' name. Go, Jesus' name. By his wounds, we have here. By your wounds. Jesus, we have a here, here, touch, Lord, here, touch, Lord, Holy Spirit, pour out your spirit, touch, Lord, anointing in the name of Jesus. I pray all kind of darkness uh, in the name of Jesus, your enemy, Satan, go, Jesus' name, go, Jesus' name, oh, Holy Spirit, God, and bless our territory. We will overcome in the name of Jesus. You are free, Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, Holy Spirit, God, right now move and touch everyone. Touch everyone. Blood of Jesus. We cover blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Never come again. You got healing. Hallelujah. Receive right now. You, you, whatever you see, and then obey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You will see, and then you will get live and hundred percent. God, we pray for our uh, prosperity. Your signs, wonders, miracle. Thank you, Lord. Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 The Holy Spirit, He knows our weakness. Oh, Holy Spirit, you intercess for us with a grown that word cannot express. Right now, touch, Lord. 
your compassion. Heal Jesus' name. Heal broken heart. Heal physical problem, disease, illness, Lord. Hallelujah. Right now, touch, Lord. Touch. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you. We praise you. We exalt your name. In Jesus' name, we pray. Hallelujah. Amen.